Hello and welcome to Writing Your Reality. I'm Tracy Harding and this week I'm going to be talking about how to keep writing and finish writing a manuscript. So you've started putting your story down on the page and your chapters are stacking up into a book. This week I'm going to look at how to maintain the momentum, get rid of any possible roadblocks and push on through to the climax. I get halfway into a story and I lose the plot or I get bored. If you find this is the case, then you've missed some vital clue, which would have kept the story intriguing for you. My advice is to print out your tale and read it through on paper. As you read, allow your mind to drift off on little tangents. I find these little side thoughts often lead to big subplots. Should you find one of these side plots, then go back, fill in what is missing, and be on your merry way. I suggest printing out your script to read through the text, because you'll spot mistakes more easily on paper and you can write notes around the text. Your tail may have also headed off in the wrong direction in which case print out, read through, and discover where your story went sour for you. I have erased entire scenes, even chapters. This is very painful, of course, but it proves rewarding in the long run when you find yourself speeding along in a new and exciting direction. The other reason you may have lost interest is that you feel your story lacks depth, in which case you've not done your groundwork properly. There was something that sparked the desire within you to write this piece. This was something you felt passionate about. Remember what the source of your original inspiration was? Go back to the research books and get chatting with your characters. This is also where that soundtrack I advised you to put together at the beginning of your tale will come in handy. See Tutorial 2, Writer's Block, Five Ways to Overcome It. Lay down and listen to the soundtrack. Plot twists you may have forgotten should be reoccurring. Depth of story is something that's developed with practice. So just because the first manuscript you ever write isn't a masterpiece that everyone's raving about, that doesn't mean you'll never write a bestseller. By the time I finish writing one book, I've already got the plot lines for the next one in my head, and they will have been taking form for months. I'm so eager to get into the new adventure that the completion of a novel just means that I can finally get started on that new idea. I might add that I was like this before I got published as well. Every writer dreams of being published, but if you write just for the fame and money, you're bound to be disappointed. The publishing industry is in crisis at the moment, but fortunately there's lots of new ways to get your work out there to the audience that you're looking for. My genre, science fantasy, is about the least sellable genre to the media. The good news is, is that it sells largely through word of mouth, so new authors stand as good a chance of finding a solid fan base as the more established talent. But we'll look at that in a future tutorial, how to sell and market a manuscript. How do I conquer the fear that it won't all come together in the end. Every writer has their own way of writing a novel. Some knock out the first draft in six weeks and then build on the story over several drafts. Others plot the entire tale before they start to write. I have learned to trust my muses and characters are leading me where I need to go and my blind faith has never failed me. Every tale has a beginning with a turning point at around the one quarter mark. This leads into the middle 
that builds to a turning point about two thirds of the way through the story. At this stage, all those threads that have been winding through your tale should start to weave together. This naturally leads your story through to the final leg of the journey to a climax, with a few anti-climaxes thrown in for good measure. Again, I never map out this process, I'm just constantly aware of where my plot is in relation to this formula. Some authors like to speed up the scenes towards the end of the story. This is an old Irish storytelling trick, which compels the reader towards the finish. I do the same thing with chapters. I like to keep them short at the beginning of a story, say eight to 10 pages long, so the reader feels like the story is racing along. As the story becomes more involved, so do the chapters, they become longer, 20 to 30 pages long. Then towards the end, when things are really hotting up, my chapters get shorter once again. Should you get three quarters of the way through your tale and find you're lost, and I seriously doubt you will, because by this time you should be so sunk into your world and characters that you couldn't possibly get lost. But if you are stuck, a printout and a read through is in order. Go back to the research notes, soundtrack, and muse on your original motivation for writing this piece. If you love the tale you're writing, then it will all come together in the end. And the most important thing is that you have fun completing your manuscript and revel in the accomplishment when you do. So I hope you find that information helpful to finishing your manuscript. On the next tutorial for writing your reality, I'm going to be talking about writing action sequences. So I hope you'll join me then. If you are looking to follow me on Facebook, if you'd like a private mentor session with me, if you would like to support my work on Patreon, or get an autographed copy of my book, all the links are below. Um, please like, share and subscribe. That helps keep this channel going. I hope I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye for now.